Good afternoon, family. I got an issue. Um, I'm so happy that I'm doing these uh, account of videos because it sort of makes you accountable. I've been noticing, noticing a lot of wrinkles in my face down here under my chin and hair. And I know I'm getting old. I know I probably am old to some. But uh, I, I, I seem to be aging early because if you look at the other videos that I made, I didn't have this kind of age going on. And I think it's due to um, my vegan lifestyle. Eating whole foods, plant-based. I have not been eating any potato chips, no pop, candy, none of it for the last three weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm just keeping it real. Um, you know, and even then when I spurred, just very little, you know, like, okay, this weekend I, I went off balance. We had my um, stepdaughter over and we went out to eat a few times and finally I, I gave in and I ate fried chicken from her favorite place in pizza. It was vegan, well, it was vegetarian pizza because it had cheese on it. Um... Then this morning I woke up and ate some some um, baked chicken, and I and then I decided, you know, I talked to my daughter and she said, "Mom, every time, every time you go vegan, it's, um, you it, it affects the way you look." And I said, "It does," because I was thinking it was due to the fact that keeping this in front of my face constantly, constantly, and especially on this side of my face. And this side is where the wrinkle happens the most. So I know that this is a problem. I know that this is something that I need to um, shake. I need I need to go to an AA for smartphone users. Um, and also, it is the vegan diet. Now, the lovely part about this, the very best part about it, well... The main thing that, well, one of the main things that concerns me is that, um, well, the issue of looking old and also the fact that I have a, a really attractive husband who looks very youthful. He's never drank in his, well, you know, he, he tried it just to see what it was like when probably 30 or 40 years ago. He's a straight-laced person. He goes, you know, he went to work constantly, raised his children. He was a rock for his kids. And um, so, therefore, you know, he did, time hasn't done him very badly. Me, on the other hand, uh, it's gotten, it's, it's, it's getting to me. And I didn't think that would happen to me. So, anyway, you know, the vanity in me. Anyway, um, the good, the the main thing I'm trying to get to is I have such a great husband. I approached him on the subject this morning before he left, and I said, Marshall, um, I was talking to D'Angela, my daughter, last night, and she said, Mom, every time you I already told you, every time you go on a vegan diet, then it affects your looks. So I was telling him about that, and I also told him I went on YouTube and saw where it does affect the way you look. And he said, honey, get yourself a nutritionist or a doctor or somebody who can lead you the right way as far as what to eat. Because I had told him I'm going to go back to eating meat. He didn't even he didn't even try to push me back into eating meat. I appreciate that man so bad. And playing these videos in in the house by Dr. Tim Morrow and um, I'm on the spot right now. I can't think of all of the doctors I listen to who promote vegan a vegan lifestyle. I was just listening to one this morning. I'm so sorry. I can't remember all of them. But Tim Morrow, M-O-R-R-O-W. 
I want to sell for him. I really truly believe in him and I believe in his products. He's a straight up person. Uh, no playing around when he talks. And he's very thorough in uh, explaining why you should not depend on doctors to keep you healthy. So um, anyway, I play those around the house. Usually my husband is like, turn YouTube off, please. But uh, something about Tim Morrow, he kind of listened. And he went to the dentist today and he just called home and he said, Ginger, um, when I went to the dentist, um, I asked him not to give me a shot. I said, wow, I'm so proud of you. I said, what happened? He said, well, the dentist suggested I go ahead and get a shot. I said, I'm still proud of you. You know, you got the shot, but at least you you have the right mindset. And maybe next time um, when you go to the dentist and they tell you that, then you can tell him, uh, go ahead and do my dental work and I'll let you know if I need if I need a shot or whatever. So I'm really proud of my husband. I'm so proud of him. And I'm so grateful to him for, um, for suggesting that I find a vegetarian doctor. I have a client who told me she would give me the name of a vegetarian doctor. I think it's her doctor or used to be her doctor. So I'm going to check it out because so far the doctors that I've run into, they're not very supportive of a vegan lifestyle. And um, they're just not. And I even want a vegan vegan dietitian because I know I'm aging and I got to withdraw from this Wi-Fi crap. I'm even thinking about turning it off at night, turning all the Wi-Fi off at night. And um, find a vegan, vegan dietitian. And a vegan doctor and find out what am I missing and what's going on here, you know, because I really don't want to look like my husband's mother. But, um, you know, it could be the natural aging process, but I wasn't like this. I, I'm looking, that's why I'm so grateful to the account of videos because when I look back at the first video I made, I didn't have these wrinkles and what's about to happen. Anyway, um, I was listening to one um, YouTube video this morning and he was saying, okay, so what's worse, getting old in the face or, or getting so sick inside that you have to have surgeries and you know, you get swollen, you get fat, you can't move, you can't go have no fun. So I'm trying to stick with this vegan lifestyle, but uh, girlfriend, girlfriend going to get real serious about it. I'm going to take good care of myself as far as products I use. Probably won't even be using no products. I'll probably use all natural stuff like coconut oil and stuff. The reason I haven't been using it is because as soon as, I, as, soon as it touches my hand, it melts. So anyway, see right there, that's a jowl. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, something's got to be done about my situation. So if anybody has any tips or hints or anything about this kind of thing, please contact me. And um I would be really grateful to hear from you. And um, if anybody else is experiencing the same thing, let's talk. And I'll, I'll give you the information that I, I gain too. But whatever we do, guys, we got to take care of ourselves and be healthy, especially with number 45 in office and things, you know, that could go sideways. And... Um, I, I would say get into our own gardens, but I'm thinking that if you, uh, I hope I'm not sounding too much like a conspiracy theory or a theorist, but I'm thinking if you plant outside, plant seeds outside, then what could happen? Um, anyway, inside gardening is great. We just bought some new plants too from the, from the Eastern market. We had so much fun at the Eastern market. I got a new ring. I got my African um, earrings, so it was great. 
All right, guys, take care. Bye.